Hello everyone, this is a video for me, Troll of Misty Rain, about my venture into knitting. Now, when I wanted to learn how to crochet about two years ago, I also wanted to learn knitting. Um, so, in an attempt to help me, a friend of mine was at a garage sale and found a Knitting for Dummies book for 25 cents and got it for me. I tried and tried to follow the book as best I could, but needless to say it was a failure and I was frustrated with it. So I put the book down. Two years later, I picked the book up again, not really to learn from it, but to just see what the technique said to do and see the diagrams to compare to what I've been practicing on my own and so I started to put my red heart you see that my red heart knitting needles to use by the way these were only two dollars and I got them about a year ago So, yeah, so in an attempt to learn how to knit, like, I figured out how to cast on, and now when I cast on, I don't do a slip stitch, because it seems as though whenever I try to do a slip stitch, the edge of the work is always loose and ugly. So... I figured out how to do the knit stitch and the purl stitch and a couple nights ago I came up with this little thing it was done as a flat panel it was done as a flat panel and then I seamed the sides and the top to make a little hat This is what it looks like. It's done in Red Heart Variegated Yarn called Shaded Browns. And I liked it. And so I attempted to make it in a larger size using Red Heart Variegated Yarn called Dove. And this is how it came out. See the knit stitch right there. Well, stockinette, I guess it would be called. And this would be the back of what stockinette is with the pearls. So this is the border. This is the top. Now, I need to learn how to seam better because this seam is not the business. It's very ugly and it looks worse on the inside. See how big and thick this is? That's not pretty at all. At all. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it for me on knitting. I'm starting to like it. It's becoming easier. I'm starting another hat. I'm still on my needles in red and white and I last night I learned how to color change seamlessly so I'm happy about that oh here's a tip I've seen a lot of videos that have if you want to preserve your work and you don't want the stitches falling off let's wait for the airplane to go by okay I'm back so if you want to preserve your stitches so that they won't fall off your needle while you're not working, they have the little needle points to put on. Well, I don't have any of those, but I have loads of miniature and regular size folder slash paper clips. And so all I need is to do is put a miniature paper or folder clip on the edge of it and the stitches don't move at all. So. There's a great tip for you if you need one. So, 
that is it. Um, I will talk to you all later. Bye.